What is going on guys? Today we have got Shapeshifters Mark Bartra. If you're tired of if you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. So he is a 93 left wing now. He was, I believe, a center back. I'm pretty sure a center back anyway. And to be honest, it looks decent. 93 again. I can imagine this one is going to be online. We do have a day left for Delaney. Make sure you do get him done. This is a warning if anybody's not finished him. There is a token in Delaney. Personally, myself, I still need to complete him as well. But for Marcus Bar... Well, is it Mar it's Mark Bartra. I thought it was Marcus Bartra. But potato, potato. Five finesse goals in a Spanish players in shifting shape. We've then assist with four goals using defenders. Fair enough. Win six matches and assist a goal using La Liga players in five separate matches. So, assist a goal with La Liga. I'm just trying to think of the best way to get this done. We'll have a look at the card and see what he's all about. I want to say he's got to be higher rated, uh, higher than the three star. If we can find him on here. Bartra is a 4-4. Okay, so it's just a visual glitch to start with. He is no traits, unfortunately. Again, I really wish that they would add some traits to these cards. Because obviously, especially a centre-back, he's not necessarily going to have a shooting trait. But it would be nice to maybe get one. A flare, uh, an outside of the foot, a finesse. Something to add a value to him as well. Maybe it's a concept going forward. I know the traits are, I want to say this is the second year. Either the second or third year of kind of really full introducing of them. We got them in the late side of one of the games. I want to say it was either 20 or 21. I think it was 20. But what we're looking at the stats. So we've got 96 pace and acceleration. How tall was he? Six foot, so a big lad on the wing. I would probably prefer him more in the middle, but you could, I suppose, put him left mid and change into a CDM. We've got good shooting, passing wise, uh, long and short passes looking good, great vision, curve. Even the dribbling side of him looks very, very nice. Top end there. Defending and physical, obviously, on the lower side. He was an 80 common centre back, and he has managed to get an 85. I don't know if that was a highlight one, a featured team in a week or not. And in terms of chem, people are looking at that Sentinel, which would give him, if I can even find where Sentinel is on here. I can't. Yeah, there it is. It would give him 95 defending, 88 physical, turning him into a 94 CDM, CM cam, 95 CF, 94 left wing or right wing, and a 95 left forward or right forward. So, he, again, he's got a good amount of stats throughout there. So, I think, in general, this card is, at the minimum, very nice fodder. But also, you got your Spanish team. We'll definitely have to have a quick look at that as well, just to end it. So, what do we actually need to get done then? So, what is the shift in shape um, requirements then? Let's have a quick little gander. Uh, it's in friendlies. We have got in play online, shift in shape. So, there is no game limit. You can do it all in one. Uh, minimum three countries, five leagues, one lone player. Okay, so if I was to do that, I believe we need La Liga players. We also need defenders going up front. We will kind of all uh, link that together so we can get it done as quick as possible. So we've got Spanish touch. So score five for that's using Spanish players. Uh, assist four goals with defenders, win the six. And it's got to have La Liga players to assist a goal. So realistically... You want to do as much Spanish in that as you can. So let's let's make a squad for this. We're going to go with the 4-3-3. Three, three, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll just go out of our silver team. And if we can just go with a Spain. I want to say we've got rid of the Spain one. Yes, perfect. So what we want to do is go all out Spain. And then have La Liga up top. That is going to be the best way. So we can have one loan. So again, we've got that Morientes who can do that, which is always nice. We've got Isco. We've got Aspas and Canales. We can't have a loan now as well. So we need to make sure we haven't got any there. And we also need to remember we need at least five different leagues. And I think we should be pretty golden with that. And I think Preo might be that little bit off. So let's have a look what we've got. So we're in the 4-4-2. We'll go, we'll go heavy on the attack just personally because I feel like that's going to do us the best. We don't actually. I think obviously right back and left back is going to be your better choice in terms of um, kind of getting the goals, but uh, getting the assists because they're just going to be the, the better option to get the assists with. So if we just whack everybody in, this should be enough. 
we do want to make sure because Delafeu is obviously not La Liga, so we need defenders now, really. Let's have a quick gander at what we've got in terms of defense for Spain. Ah, oh, we need the nations. Of course we do. How many nations was it? It was three nations, I think. So we could get that with icons, in fact. So that might not be too bad. So if we go back to the friendlies, I want to say it's three. It's uh, three different nations. Yeah, three countries minimum, and it's the five leagues. I think we've got the five leagues down, especially if we do add the icon, as obviously they do count as one. So at the minute, we've got one Espanol, Serie A, Prem, Icon, and then one more. So if we can get a Spanish centre-back, I don't think we've got any massive ones. So it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be... We'll go the... We'll go Laporte as much as not necessarily the greatest centre-back to go with. Have we got an Icon centre-back? That's one thing that I don't know. Because we have loans, I don't think we do. So, left-back, who have we got? We have got an Ashley Cole, so that does work out all right. That's okay. So, then we could go with a Prem centre-back. So, we could actually go with a... Ru oh, not, not that Ruben Diaz. We could go with Ruben Diaz. He still gets the link then to... Um, Laporte and obviously Ashley Cole and De Gea. Morientes is obviously strong link to all La Liga. That should be enough. So then we've got the three nations. We've got Spain, Portugal and obviously England. We've got a lot of La Liga there. And then we've got Prem, Icon. No, we need another, we need another league. Because we've got Prem, Icon, La Liga, Serie A. We need one more league. So instead of Isco, if we go Fabregas, then we just, for the assists, we make sure that we go with Ansu, Canales, or obviously um, Navas and Aspas. So that works out all right. I would then personally, for the first few matches, is go ahead and go with the... Personally, this is my tactics. Just just because this is what I know what to play on. Um, it is balance and then direct pass. Drop these down a couple just to get with that. And I'll still play in a 4-4-2. What I'd do then is I'll just go with De Feu for the moment in the back because we need the assist with the defenders. It gives us two La Liga going forward. And then we know we've got the, the free La Liga in that midfield and Fabregas is normally the one that will stop back. So that should be enough. Let's just double check that we've hit every single objective there as we don't want to make sure that uh, we've missed any. We then have score five finesse, Spanish. Obviously, we've got a lot of Spain up top. Uh, assist with the defenders. We've got Navas up front. Win at six matches. That is a standard. And then assist a goal using La Liga players in five separate matches. Again, Navas will get the assist. Obviously, then you've got Morientes. You've got Aspas. Uh, you've got Isco. At, not Isco. You've got Fati and also Canales. So, you're hitting all zones to make sure you can get that done because obviously the main one is going to be the assist with La Liga's as it is five separate. With the defenders and the finesses, you've obviously got um, all game. If somebody doesn't want to leave, you can just go and do a few and you can get that done pretty easily. And the win six games should come as a standard. So six games is normally the minimum if you can get every objective done every single time. You can miss one game with the assist with a La Liga player because obviously you've got that one game to get the uh, get the assist extra with that win six. In terms of Bartra, I think again, solid card. Good upgrade. He's gone up plus 13. Onto the left wing again, it's shapeshifters, so it's a nice little uh, little change of pace which is always good the stats look pretty decent as well we will try and get him done as quick as possible to get a review on him we will be trying to do as many of these reviews as possible so let me know down below who you'd like to see first and i'll try and prioritize them as we go forward make sure you do like and subscribe on this and we've got shapeshifters cup 2 coming up next catch you all for the next one peace